So come to the stage next. Not only is he a designated driver for two of the comedians later on tonight, but when I was 21, he was my fucking roommate. So that's dumb. Please welcome to stage Dave McGraw. Dave. Hey. You're like the actual Dave McGrath is here. Thought I saw him when I walked in, but I didn't want to say anything. I don't have a lot of time, so I just thought I'd talk to you about money, politics, religion, and disease. Awesome. Uh, I have no money. I'm a huge Star Wars dork. I drive an orange Prius. I still have an AOL email address. Yet mysteriously, I've never been married. You're shocked. You're shocked. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a special ed teacher. Thank you. Thank you. So clearly, I'm not going where the money is. I'm going where the women are. I work. I work in a preschool and a prison. I'm not making, I don't have any jokes, I just report on my life and hope you're amused. <laughs> Those sound like different environments, but actually, they're quite similar. They both have an open bathroom door policy. <laughs> Students that pass me around like I'm currency. A pretty good chance I'm gonna get assaulted. It's great. They have different questions though. The, the prisoners would be like, Yo, yo, Dave, Dave, how much weed can you get with a metal car? That's a question I got in prison, in preschool, it's more like, um, um, Mr. McGrath, how come you don't have any hair on top of your head? And I gotta be honest with him, I'm like, oh, it's because your mom's a bitch. You can't, you can't use the C word with a preschooler. My, um, first job teaching special ed was at Westboro State Hospital. Yeah, locked program for adolescents with severe psychiatric issues. These kids had such a hard time even staying in class that if they stayed in class all week they could watch a movie at the end of the week. Now I'm a huge Star Wars dork, so I turned Star Wars into an educational experience. So we're watching Star Wars, and oh, the Star Wars fans, awesome. Um, and a lot of the kids had never watched it and they're getting into it, which made me really happy. And then at the end of the movie, when Luke was about to blow up the Death Star, he hears the spirit of Obi-Wan Kenobi say, use the force, Luke. Immediately, when one of my students said, oh my God, Luke hears voices just like I do. It's a nice schizophrenia joke for you. I bet you weren't expecting that. I am, I'm a huge Star Wars dork. My younger sister, Megan, makes fun of me for being a Star Wars dork, but she's a Harry Potter dork, and guess what, same fucking story. They just changed the names. An orphan who doesn't want to be the hero, but he's got to be the hero. So he goes on an adventure, leaves his home, meets some old dude who teaches him how to use a magic object to fight the ultimate evil. They just changed the names. Harry Potter has Voldemort. Star Wars has the Emperor. In real life, we have Trump. I don't, I actually, I don't think he's evil. I don't think he's evil. I just think he doesn't want the job, right? I'd be the exact same way. They'd be like, President McGrath, we have 500 things for you to do today. would be like, no, I'm watching Star Wars with my cabinet in the movie room. That's what I'm doing today. No, watch me tweet some crazy shit then. He does that, you know, okay, cool. Politics is such a touchy subject, isn't it? Woo. I had to break up with a girlfriend for political reasons, right? I'm pro blowjobs. <laughs> Pro, pro oral sex, I believe in giving and receiving. But, but it answers the question, would I rather date a non-licking liberal or a teabagging teabagger? <laughs> Some of you might have to ask your kids about that one or go to urbandictionary.com. You'll be unpleasantly surprised. But the truth, the truth is, I, I, I don't care if a woman's from a red state. As long as she doesn't leave my balls in a blue state. Hey! I shouldn't, I shouldn't give my non-blowing ex a hard time though. She, she put up with a lot of my shit. Literally, I have Crohn's disease. I do. The, the shittiest disease you can get, and I have it. I do. I do. I don't know if you, have, if you haven't heard of Crohn's, it's an autoimmune gastrointestinal chronic condition. 
symptoms include farts that there are rows in the movie theater, breaking your friend Carl's toilet twice, having no interest in anal sex at all. Find me someone with Crohn's is into anal, I'll show you a liar. Crohn's is tough though. You know, I found the right balance of diet, medication, and exercise um, to get my Crohn's under control. I play hockey, any hockey fans here? A lot of people say, you know, hockey's too violent, you know, if kids watch it, they'll emulate the players, and they'll be violent, you know, they'll be violent too. I don't buy it, I think it's the best sport ever. And I'll fucking fight anyone that disagrees with me. I'm gonna leave you with this thought, that in life, I'll fight him. there's no I'll such fight him. thing as mistakes. There's only learning experiences. <laughs> You should make me a fucking genius by now, but I'm not. I'm being a rat. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot.